Hey everybody, Joe Joseph here for thedailysheeple.com and this is your new shot. And a quickie as uh, the Chicago Tribune says the pop tax in Chicago has been repealed. And now they're trying to figure out why, how are we going to fix the budget now? Mm, the pop tax is gone. Look at these municipalities made a big mistake. Huge mistake. They thought that through taxation, why they would be able to make people healthier. That people would just all of a sudden have a come to Jesus moment and say, ah, I'm not going to drink soda anymore. Wrong. You know what they came to find out? And Chicago looked at Philadelphia as an example of this. People in Philadelphia just went to the next town over where there's no sales tax or no tax on these sugary drinks. And guess what? They're still drinking sugary drinks. Could you imagine that? It goes back to the old adage, where there's a will, there's a way. You're not going to stop people from doing what they want to do. You can make it illegal. You can tax the hell out of it. At the end of the day, people will find a way to get what they want. And they can either do it through legal means, and I put that in big quotations because what the hell does it matter if it's legal or illegal? The way things are going, everything's going to be illegal. And when everything's illegal, nothing's illegal. So who cares? Fact is, people in Chicago will just go somewhere else and they'll get their beverages. Because I certainly wouldn't pay a tax on sugary drinks. Let's also be real here, okay? Yes. Do we have a problem with obesity? We most certainly do in the United States. But again, you can't force change on people. The only thing you can do is fix the problem. What's the problem? The problem is our food is not nutritious anymore. It's all garbage. And people can't afford to eat well. Not like they used to. See, all of these instant meals and everything else, all of the uh, TV dinners, of course, TV dinners existed, but they were near as big as they use, as they are now. People have to go to that because guess what? Well, mom and dad are working their butts off. They don't have time to make dinner. Hey, just go get a meal, pop it in the microwave. It's all good. Not to mention the fact that if you do try to eat healthy, it's extremely expensive, like I was saying. So you have to go for these manufactured meals because they're a lot cheaper. It's the only way you're going to be able to feed your kids and do so with consistency without going totally broke. And it's, uh, it's a sad situation we're in, and it's causing our kids to gain weight. Also, they don't go outside as much anymore. They don't do as much because we're so heavily into Internet. We're so heavily into cell phones and smartphones and technology that they just don't have as much physical activity. But of course, you know, that's a culture change. And slowly but surely over time, that's happened. That doesn't mean that you can't teach your children the importance of physical fitness, but you should do it. You know, these things and these habits that they form now are the foundation that they're building their lives on. And what's the most important part of any building? The foundation. And if the foundation isn't solid, then what happens? Then the, the whole structure isn't solid. As they become adults, they're going to have issues. They're going to have problems. That's what the system is designed for. It's designed to make people subservient and reliant upon government. Whether it be local, state, or federal, it doesn't matter. And here's another example of the I know what's best for you because government says it, why this is the way it has to be. Only now they got slapped up the side of the head with the reality that these soda taxes don't work. As a matter of fact, Philadelphia is struggling now because here they are. Oh, well, we expected to get this much. We expected like $60 million and instead we got six. Why? People are going to go right to the next town over. Why do I need to pay sales tax on or this pop tax, it's garbage. Folks, we cannot prevent free will. As hard as we may try, free will's here to stay. And 
until we get that straight and we live and let live, then we're going to keep running into this static and this difficulty. You know, we're going to have budget deficits. We're going to have all this stuff. There's an old adage, keep it simple, stupid, kiss, right? Keep it simple. You want society to be well? Do you want society to function properly? Leave people alone. Get rid of all these regulations. Get rid of all these requirements. Get rid of all these taxes. Get rid of the reliance on broken government. And let people be. And when you do that, you'd be surprised at how fast the ship gets righted. I'm Joe Joseph. This was the DailySheeple.com's news shot. Feel free to comment below and visit our website at thedailysheeple.com. Have a great day, everybody.